Hey there After Effects buddies, let's take a look at how to take some green screen footage which has just been shot with the green on a screen, like this phone screen, could be an iPad, could be a television, and replace it with our own elements such as the lovely Craig the dog there, hey. Okay, so first I'm going to create a new composition and this is going to be our screen. So I'll name it screen. Okay, and I've ch changed the settings so that the width is 1080 and the height is 1920. So I've reversed those to make it portrait rather than landscape. So this will fit our screen much better. And in there, I'll just put a new solid and this can be a placeholder. Okay, so. And I'm going to drop that screen into our main comp. Then I'm going to control click or right click on the footage layer and choose track motion. Okay, so I'm going to change the track type to perspective corner pin. And I've got these four points which I'll put on the track markers here. Now, I could also use the corners of the screen. But as we've got the track markers, we may as well use those. So I'll get them right in the center. And there we go. But what I'm next going to do is just take the center crosshair right in the middle there, that little cross, and move that off to the outside of the screen. So the tracker will track what's inside the center box, but when it applies the corner pins, they'll be where these crosses are. Okay, get that nicely lined up straight. just fit okay that looks okay and analyze forward and hit apply so we've now replaced the screen Okay, so we'll take care of the thumb in a moment, but first I'm just going to turn this layer off just so I can see the thumb and add a couple of markers where I want the, uh, about here, where I want the pictures to change. Layer, add marker, and go back, and there's another one here, here we go, up, layer, add marker okay so I'm now going to go into my project I'll add Craig one okay I'm going to just scale that down use transform and fit to comp height and just move him along lovely doggy there we go and I'll just hit the P key on my first marker add a keyframe and then come forward a few frames and I'll just move him off the screen if I hold down shift I'll keep him in a straight line there we are. Okay, I'll turn this guides on so we can see maybe a little bit slower okay and I'll also add some motion blur by clicking here and here on these little three circles so as it moves, it has some blur. Okay. Then underneath that, I'll put a second picture. And again, I'll choose transform. I'll fit it to the comp height. Um, there he is. Maybe just adjust that slightly. Lovely. I'll go to the second marker here. I'm going to add a keyframe. And then move forward a few frames. And oh, I forgot this one. 
I want to be going actually sideways so I'll just jump to the next marker and just change that back so it goes this way and then this one is the one I want to go up so I'll move that shift this one needs to just come forward a tiny bit more there we go and then that moves up so I'll put Craig 3 underneath there and again I can use transform fit to comp height and just uh, move me along a little bit there it is after a walk in the rain all right add some motion blur to this layer so now we go back to phone 2 and we can turn this layer back on and we've got Craig in the screen lovely so now I'm going to duplicate this bottom layer put that on top and I'm going to go to key light okay key light 1.2 and I'm going to click on the green with my eyedropper tool okay and I just want to refine this so I'll go to screen mat go to where the thumb is over there we go so now I'll just go to the screen mat settings and I'll roll back on the white. Okay, let's fill in that thumb. And then on the black, I'll click the black until those X's disappear. Oh, not too far. So I just need to play about with that a little bit. And soften it. Maybe by about 10. No, not too much. Maybe about 5 or 6. Okay, and switch to the intermediate result. Because what I'm then going to add on this is the spill suppressor. And that works best when you're on the intermediate result. Okay. Oh, I'll put the advanced spill suppressor on. There we go. Just to get rid of that green spill. So you see, with if you look at the thumb there, without the spill suppressor, we've got these green reflections. So that helps take care of that. Okay, now I just want to add to this a little noise on the picture because it's this is video footage and this is a still image and it may look a little bit too crisp and clean compared to the kind of slight grain of the video. So perhaps on here I'll go, I'll add a new adjustment layer and on the adjustment layer, make sure that's on top. There we go and I'll add some noise, noise and grain, noise, put that on, I won't use colour, just, just use, see not too much, just give it a little, maybe about 30 or 40 percent, yeah, but just to make it kind of, it's very subtle, but just give it more of a video feel, help it blend in a little better so there we've got a new screen on our phone and we've managed to keep the thumb on top and we could all enjoy
the wonders of Craig the Dog. Thanks for watching, buddies. Cheers. <laughs>